Hey Woodside, my name is Stephanie McGraw and I'm the director of the Leadership Institute here at Woodside. Last month, we shared that this is the 10th anniversary of the Woodside Vision Foundation, which exists to facilitate generosity for the mission and vision of our church. We celebrated just a snapshot of the way God's been at work through our generosity to the foundation, including allowing us to launch our Leadership Institute. The Leadership Institute at Woodside exists to empower individuals to reach their God-given potential so they can live out their kingdom purpose. Our internship and residency programs are designed to help people discover and embrace their God-given calling for His glory. Since our launch in 2016, we have seen 145 men and women take a step of faith and commit their lives to a season of development and service to our church as they discern how God may be leading them to ministry. In 2019, we launched our paid ministry residency and have since equipped and released 21 leaders through the program. These are individuals who have responded to God's calling on their lives and are committed to serving the church vocationally. Our internships and residencies would not be possible if it weren't for the generosity of those who have given to the foundation. That said, I'd love for you to hear from one of our previous residents, Thorino about the way that God used the residency to shape and equip him during his time with the Institute. Growing up in a Christian home, I knew all the right things to do. I knew the right things to say. And I really ultimately knew that Jesus was the only way. And that was the only way I was gonna find true hope and, and true peace and actually a purpose to life was only in him. But I still had sin that I wasn't willing to let go of. I ended up walking away for a few years, for about three years and uh, had met with uh, Daniel Park, uh, DP, a couple times, and, and he had asked me a really pointed question, just, hey, what's, what's your deal, right? He's like, you know all of this, but you're not walking with the Lord, why? That was the first time meeting with him that I ever opened up about why I wasn't surrendering my life. Um, it was because of sin, and I told him exactly what that was, and um, he just began to encourage me, uh, and we prayed, and, and the Lord used that conversation and conversations around that so powerfully. And so a couple months later, God saved me miraculously um, on October 29th of 2017. A couple months after, I'd felt this call to full-time ministry and had absolutely no idea exactly how to go about that. I mean, I've been saved for this time three months, and so, okay, I'm not going to go pastor a church right now. What am I going to do? And so I think God used the internship in such a powerful way to allow me to make mistakes, allow me to learn about what it means to be in ministry, what it means to build relationships with people. Um, and then also, I think the encouragement of having the Institute, of having other believers there who are in the same exact situation that I was, has been such a, an amazing thing that the Lord has used in my life even now, um, where the teachings that, we, that I learned in the Institute, I'm still I'm rehearsing them to myself and also teaching them to others. If I could give one piece of advice to anybody listening, maybe feeling the stirring to go into full-time ministry or just trying to discern where the Lord might have them, the Institute is the way to go. It's a really beautiful way that we see the church really working as it should, as disciples who make disciples. 